Hello Scorpio, welcome. Thank you for being here. I'm hoping everyone is doing well. This is going to be a mid-month reading. Usually I do the weekly readings and I use the Kelty Crow spread looking at the situation, how that unfolds. This time I'm going to do a different layout or reading. So we're going to look first at the overall energies, then your love life, and then uh, finances and career and status. So a little bit of everything here. Before I start, what came out here when it came to astro, the astro dice is uh, the number eight, which if I'm going to look at astrologically is your house, the house of transformation, of merging, of endings here. And for some of you, inheritance and money. Yeah, tax is coming here with this house as well. But I feel like for most of you, you are going to get some type of abundance because Jupiter came after as well. So it feels like something will expand and will transform here. If you are dealing with um, shared resources, money here through other people or even through a partner, it's really going to be multiplied or it's going to be some type of expansion here. Especially for some of you, if you have Jupiter in the 8th house, you might be feeling that things are coming in regarding um, money through other people. Or again, something that when it comes to a relationship is completely here, is going to change. Aries came after. Now, some of you may be dealing with Aries or when it comes uh, to your birth chart or you know depending here where Aries in, is in your chart is going to be activated if we're going to look also um, at Aries as the emperor this is where you feel like you have to build something here it can be when it comes to your own business when it comes to your strong strong will here something is going to change also um, it might be that when we're talking about Aries we're talking about a strong will here and I feel like this is very important because when it comes to tarot number eight is the strength card so when it comes to your willpower, what it is here that you're going towards something that you feel like is supposed to, especially with Jupiter, to expand or, you know, some type of growth in your love life. Number five, and it's interesting because number five and then Taurus came in. Uh, number five, when it comes to tarot, it is the Hierophant. So through changes for some of you or through crisis, even if we're going to look at the fifth house romance here, especially with the eighth house intimacy romance, partnership are going to be very important. Again, Taurus, maybe also you're dealing with a Taurus or this is the house that is being activated. I want to see how it's going to come together, but I feel like some type of transformation is coming in. Um, like when I look at all of this together, it's going to be impo uh, very important that if you are dealing with some type of extreme situation, what do you need to let go and how you can balance a situation? It, it feels like there's so much growth and even, you know, kind of exaggeration here that comes with Jupiter and you feel like you have to end something and you know that you have to open a door to this expansion. And you have to have this kind of, and even look at Aries, that you have to have a um, kind of a point of view here from your own self. Not, it's like Aries energy is very individual. It's like looking at, okay, I need to know here, what do I gain or what do I need to change? What is this uh, strong will um, that I have here and I need to pursue? We'll see, but it feels like something uh, regarding also your assets, uh, when it comes here to your values, um, your love life that is about to change. All right, so when it comes to Scorpio, also when I was um, actually pre-shuffling, the death and the devil came in and the temperance. So a lot when it comes to those major arcanas, a lot about keeping certain composure when it comes to what needs to end, what it is here uh, that you don't let a situation consume you, uh, especially again with the devil when we feel like we are afraid or we stay in a situation out of fear, who we give our power away, not to get pressured here, especially um, regarding a situation. What is going on with Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Mars? What does the universe want Scorpio to know, please? One more. All right, you see, you have to, like, number eight. And we have the Three of Swords. It feels like you want to get out of a situation, but you feel like, or this is going to cause some type of heartbreak, or you need to um, let go of something, but you feel stuck. There you are with Seven of Cups. Many dreams, many possibilities. Um, 
but you, you have to pick I feel like the seven of cups is like what do I pick what do I go Venus in Scorpio again the extreme energies here it's like someone has been dreaming and waiting or to recover from that heartbreak That's why I'm getting okay. I like it. The sun, Leo energy with the fifth house, by the way. I'm gonna get all of this uh, to see Venus in Aries. Okay, this is interesting. So the sun uh, comes in not only as uh, some type of enlightenment and happiness, but also it feels like a, a couple here. Is dancing so it might be regarding again the merging here with the uh, eighth house or how you bring certain things together here there, there's so much optimism and feels like celebration here but it's interesting because where this is very open with with the Sun there is behind the scenes here a hidden um, kind of way I feel like someone that has been hiding or pretending when it comes to their feelings, their emotions, now wants to act quickly. I'm looking, I'm, I'm bringing this all together, so um, bear with me. I, I know that it's going to result that I see here in um, some type of festivities or engagement or you and this person celebrating finally here, um, this connection, proposal I'm getting here. But the Seven of Swords feels so much out of place, feels so much out of place. It's like, is look the seven of, of swords is looking at the couple, and you yeah usually usually this is the moon in Aquarius where where someone feels like they want to avoid the feelings. We have sun and moon definitely when it comes to the uh, consciousness and the subconsciousness, but it's like is looking at a situation as oh okay that couple is happy, but there's something here that I'm I'm not completely uh, ready to reveal. Or is this you that uh, you feel like, again, you you want here to take actions towards a person? It is about, I feel like, guys, for most of you, actions towards romance or where your heart wants, you know, to kind of lead you here. I'm going to clarify the Seven of Swords because I feel like it's, uh, or something, finally, I don't do reversals, are, is going to come out of... Uh, Whatever has been hidden, the mask is going to fall off. Or again, there is this happiness that is coming in and someone, it feels like right now I cannot reveal anything. It is about, unless it's a, a for some of you, I know this is very specific, but a surprise proposal kind of energy. Because again, look at the Knight of Cups that is coming in. It's like ready to open up their, their heart and uh, confess or take this romantic approach. And this is going to, to lead to engagement and celebration. So I feel like eventually, again, with this, something, and you might be telling you, be aware, someone has this plan. It is nice. Even the Seven of Swords here that feels out of place, in the end, it feels like it's going to lead to marriage, engage, engagement, and celebration, and it's going to happen fast because we have two fire signs here, and even the sun I'm looking as a fire sign. So I feel like it is about romance, proposals here, and in the middle, I look at the Knight of Cups as the, the kind of the important event that is taking place, which is romance. Or someone is ready finally to confess their love or some type of uh, surprises here uh, regarding an em engagement. Let me let me clarify a little bit. I want to. Sorry. It might be that someone secretly is admiring you, is looking at you. And, and it, it feels like it's all about an engagement taking actions towards uh, building number four and again Venus in Aries building a home a family together what is this seven of swords okay hmm number five again I keep getting news quick news but also Someone that has been alone and is trying to, to finally come out of this isolation and act quickly. Yeah, number nine. Um, I am getting there's some partnership here, but someone is worried that might not be enough or going through financial difficulties. That's the thing. 
it's going to lead again whatever the worry is about what needs to be worked is this enough uh, for some of you from friends uh, to lover and i'm saying this because when the three of pentacles comes in and mo most time it's like okay there's some type of partnership here something is in the works but there's been some crisis even again and i said mercury in taurus by the way regarding someone's thoughts that might be not enough or lacking so whatever this happiness that is coming in someone is trying to make something work because it's worried or if it's not going to be enough or it is worried that it is going to be some crisis here it's the romantic feelings that's what i'm getting here someone has really strong uh, romantic feelings and the approach will be towards this romance no matter what the worry or the mask here or the bluff i feel like again the sun is coming is like we can be happy through a anything i still though being a scorpio myself i will say to <laughs> to my other Scorpios that is a little bit of a suspicious energy there um, what is this Knight of Cups yeah someone okay so someone has been at crossroads it feels a little bit going into a situation completely um, it feels like in the unknown which way do I go? What is this going to lead? Is there going to be romantic feelings? Is it going to be this happiness? Is this truly as it seems? Can it be this happy? I feel like the Seven of Swords is looking at everything and planning everything. But I feel like someone that has been at crossroads, you or this person, will see what's coming with your love life here. And that kind of will give us more what the story is. But um, if someone has been on the fence here, in the end, it's like, look at it, I'm a fool for you kind of energy with the Knight of Cups. I, I'm, I'm not going to think about it. I'm just going to act from a point of uh, love. What is, and if it is not for some of you guys, if it, cannot, it is not about love, whatever you have been kind of, you feel like I have to go towards this happiness, but I have to be a little, I've, it's like, don't reveal this happiness. Not everybody is happy for you or whatever, you know, actions. I'm just going to keep this to myself and I'm going to go and, you know, kind of start this journey feel like it's romance but for some of you it's like maybe not everybody wants your uh, happiness here and you feel like you have to hide that you are this person yeah I, I, I feel like there's a journey or there's um, some type of actions here someone that has been at crossroads seven and seven In, eventually I feel like it's going to be as you know what I'm just gonna charge in there what is this four of wands is going to lead again to success to something being built here you see the devil came here before there is a fear i don't know if there's a fear between you and this person that there's something or about money or that there's a situation about a fearing about agreements here let's see what is this four of wands and the devil okay yeah it is that good to be true. It feels like it has to do with a choice here, by the way. The um, Mars in Aries, that's what, that's what that Aries came in. Dominant energy. Um, you're going to be happy. I feel like you are a little bit cautious because of, again, or financially or obstacles or someone is worried that these actions are not well thought out in a way. Uh, is this too good to be true? Some of you might be keeping these uh, actions under wrap or saying, hey, happiness is coming in. Actions or proposals or, you know, towards this celebration, this beautiful event that is taking place. But there may be jealous people or maybe other situation here that you feel like might not be good for you to reveal these actions. But look at it. You got the wish card here twice because we know that the star is what we're wishing for, guidance. Uh, especially when it comes to journey, traveling here or towards a situation that you feel like it's your calling. So you see happiness, you want to go towards it, but again, you're not revealing your plans here. I'm getting good vibes now. The devil, it might be because you feel like someone here wants to keep you uh, in a controlled or envious way. That's what's coming in. Be aware of that. I like it. I like it. Especially because it kind of confirmed number eight, the Jupiter here expansion. Because we got Jupiter in Pisces, by the way. So let's see. We got Taurus, we got Aries, we got number five. All right, 
when it comes to love when it comes to love what are the energies what are the opportunities what's coming towards scorpio sun moon rising venus and mars please one more for scorpio sun moon rising venus and mars the three of wands and the eight of pentacles expecting something you have worked or someone that has put a lot of efforts now feels like those efforts are coming in especially with the four of wands so i feel like this may be about love as well or also something you have been working um finally gets recognized it's coming in you can see success you're mastering something okay the knight of cups is coming twice Definitely, I'm getting some type of romantic approach or receptive, uh, very psychic for some of you, a type of energy with a high priestess, very intuitive. Like you're developing some type of unexplored situation as well. But I feel like, again, some of you are anticipating, are looking at it and feel like, okay, it's going to come in. My intuition has always known here that something is about coming. The world, the four of swords, the seven, another seven, the temperance coming in now. And the nine of wands i don't know why i felt like okay the star that's why um for some of you when it comes to your love life you might be closing a big uh, cycle also you might be feeling that you are almost there to achieve something that you have wanted it's saturnian energy but also it's all fixed signs the world uh, is coming here actually as someone that also feels like um whatever i set up my mind to um to do or this journey i'm going to finally achieve it but for some of you i feel like it's distance or traveling because i'm getting the uh, chariot here and the knights are about traveling as well and action so again something feels here that is completed or you completed finally a cycle the four of swords is coming as a calm uh, energy peace of mind look at it's like someone is like okay i finished that or i i accomplished that now here what do i need to do the seven of wands is standing out i'm bringing all this together in a minute here because we have two energies of uh standing strong pr protecting here now the seven of wands again is this approach here you or whoever this person it's like someone feels like they need here to really prove a point or you know kind of show you that um they um have achieved something it's like look at this both have something here that wants to show this is me this is what uh, I can overcome. This is what I can achieve. That's what the energy is that is coming in. So someone has been waiting and waiting and finally feels like, okay, is the, t is the time, is the time to stand out? Is the time here to prove something? Very Sagittarius energy between these two. Because the temperance coming in and I feel like it's because of this devil. Like what is something that you need to moderate? You need to be careful. You're protecting here. You are this person. Someone has been always, not only to me, it's like I've never given up from afar here. I've dreamed about you. I've waited, but I need to show here. Like again, someone needs to show you, Scorpio, um, that they're worth it. That they're strong. That they have this strong will. That they, again, feels like they're protecting here something. They never given up. That's what I'm getting here. You have two major arcanas in this one between the world and the temperance. So change and transformation is coming in with the four of swords between someone waiting. There's the fire here waiting for the right time before you know overcoming these big uh, obstacles where the seven of swords and i feel like who had this before i feel like yes taurus had and i don't know if it was leo on another sign that i said uh, when it comes to this seven one is finding like a shortcut or does not want to reveal the other one is like bold um and ready here to face you know whatever is this truth or whatever is this movement so i feel like when it comes to love yeah, someone is uh, not shying away, but also feels like they have to stand their ground. They have to overcome challenges here. A lot of patience towards, again, someone that feels like I need to protect uh, this wish or this desire. Even if it's from, from a distance, I'm never going to uh, give up. It might be that finally you and this person are waiting for something to get completed. And you both need to kind of like... Um, 
feel like you have to fight something here. You have to overcome something in order for things uh, to heal or come together. Like looking at this, if this is you, and you have said to a person, oh, you need to complete something here. You need, I need to wait until, you need to prove here something. And again, the nine of wands is like uh, moon in uh, Sagittarius, by the way. Feels like, nope, until healing or until certain things are done, I'm not going to budge. Someone needs to prove something here. Healing, uh, moderation, not going to extreme. I don't know if there's been addictions, if there's been something here that has gotten in the way. But yeah, it's like very protective, very defensive energy to, and ho high hopes. At the same time, there are high hopes here. It's like someone feels like I know that this is going to be completed. I know I'm going to wait here until someone goes through these obstacles and challenges and healing. It's like that's what I'm getting there. All right, so let's see. When it comes to finances and career. Finances, status, career, money, what is important for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Mars. One more. Oh my goodness, who had this? The High Priestess and the Nine of Cups. You're going to get your wish fulfillment, but it's going to come from your intuition, something that you know. Whatever you feel like, again, that I feel uh, the Nine of Cups coming in. Whatever is this desire or something here that you want to take actions. I feel like I said this to um, Sagittarius and Cancer. That Nine of Cups to me is like everything I touch turns to gold. Yeah, definitely. I feel like maybe it has to do with what finances, career, worry here. Because you, you're planning something. When it comes to your money and your status, but also you feel like you have to do something under wraps that you don't want to reveal how much money you have. Look, things are going to come quickly towards you, even unexpectedly. But uh, yeah, you, you're going to you're going to be good. If for some of you, you have started like, you know, your own business, your own money, you're going to like keep that to yourself. I feel. I like it. Okay, so the chariot definitely is coming here. The Eight of Cups, the Queen of Wands here, and the Death Card. Yeah, definitely. I, I don't know why this wanted to come out, but now I can see because of the Aries. All right. So it feels like a door is open for you guys towards prosperity, and you feel like you have to be very fierce in this direction. Now, again, this might be the Eight of Cups here that is coming in is because you have that Nine of Cups, that wish fulfillment that is coming in towards you. So you feel in order for you to go to this opportunity, you have to let go of something. Saturn in Pisces. Saturn is in Pisces right now, is trining. Though Saturn is like not as beneficial here or uh, as abundant as Jupiter, long term, we need here uh saturn because whatever we're going to build now is going to be long-standing legacies here but you have to realize remember the seven of cups came coming in here what are the energies uh when it comes to many possibilities looking at maybe for some of you you have gone through many um dreams of what you wanted to accomplish when it comes to your work or money or status here and it, it's telling you you have to narrow this that's what's coming in with the eight of cups you need to uh, narrow and you are, have to go towards a situation that you feel very passionate the queen of wands again that aries energy that perception here my own my own pathway and look uh we have again the sunflower i feel like again you're opening up here to this opportunity to this fierce pathway whatever the directions here that the crossroads you feel like this is it that means that complete transformation here it, it's going to be you letting go of something or an old job or you know transforming how you look at money i've said it a few times especially for you guys if you have venus in scorpio uh, pluto is squaring your venus especially if you have early degrees because again it's going retrograde but even um if you don't have that i feel like this is going to be a change in your transformation eighth house eighth house so you have this great opportunity, you're charging towards it, you feel like you have to let go of whatever has been, and maybe some of you, you have to deal with a, a, a certain things here, disappointment, emotionally withdrawal, in order to go towards this passion. But again, look at the emperor, this is the boss, this is victory, this is success. 
or with someone else here or you. You're going to be your own boss. You're going to be your own leader here. The spotlight is going to be on you. Yeah, I feel like romantically here, there's a lot happening and there's this foundation. But I feel when it comes to your uh, career status and money, you are um, on a great pathway here to achieve what you wanted. Especially, again, the Queen of Wands, very entrepreneurial, very passionate. There's something mystical as, as, as well here about the Queen of Wands. Um, but this is someone that is being praised. This, to me, is a leader. This is greatness. Building an empire. That's what's coming in with you and another person. But remember, whatever it is, I feel like, again, there's something here that is not meant for everyone right now later on i feel like there's going to be this public image here rising to power and authority here and to greatness but first again the opportunity uh, whatever that is you kind of feeling like i need to go towards it and i need to let go of a few things here that don't serve me it's going to change you completely it really is going to change you completely here but uh in the end you're gonna understand because you're supposed here to have or a uh, a public type of uh, position here um, guidance I feel like a, a very important role that is coming in I truly hope this resonates with you guys thank you bye bye